Here comes a real drama, boys. I don't even expect this drama. This is the spicier stuff. Here we go. Robin Roll on Twitter. Valve, after making the biggest amount of NETI Battle Pass ever last year and having just released a new Battle Pass today and have plans to release another one very soon, they're no longer playing, paying for casters to cover the TI calls, which is being left up to BTS. Okay, so Valve isn't paying for any casters, but BTS is. Alright, so... Gabe? Hello? <laughs> uh, I don't understand. I actually don't understand. I've always had problems with how Valve tries to squeeze as much free volunteer work as possible from the community. It just seems extra petty. The only advertising is by word, so pay your damn talent. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I'll always remember two cheat Valve saying Baffle went to TN, surprised that discovered most of the talent wasn't paid. And he fought for them all a paycheck. I mean, that was back in 2010. That's true. Right? Valve weren't really doing shit back then. I'll have a take on this soon, guys. I just want to read through the comments a bit. I just want to read through the comments a bit. Merlini was right. There's a time the Valve didn't pay any of the casters. SMH went back to this bullshit. Dead game. I can't believe it reached the where we don't want to buy Battle Pass. I've owned what any compendium. A game I love, but all these things disappoint me so much. I feel like the opposite of supporting the game. Uh, yeah. Valve doesn't give a fuck about the pro scene. The vending fucks they wouldn't come up with this dumpster fire DPC format. I mean, honestly, that was just an attempt. Okay, so I have a take on this that I don't understand. So I think everybody's wrong. I think everybody's wrong here. Literally every single comment here is wrong. I don't understand it. I even went out of my way. To talk a little bit to Valve yesterday as well, just to like clear up so I don't miss anything. I don't even understand why people are shitting on Valve. It's crazy, right? I'm defending Valve. I don't even know why they're shitting on them. It's not their job. That's one reason why I don't like the fact that they completely got rid of the right, here we go. qualifier slot. People that got cucked over by their teams shortly before season <laughs> end have no chance to make it. Imagine I General and Vance Cole would try oh, talking about together one hundred percent. Yeah, they should. They should have, have a one slot, I feel like, for sure. Um, but what I wanted to say, I don't understand why they're complaining. Uh, in every... Uh, why are they whining? Like, I don't understand. Because Holy it's... Holy moly, 30 months, okay. WTFF, one second. WTFF, WTFF, okay. three hits in a row, man. Alright, give me a second. I gotta mute Donald a bit. I'll, I'll shut you guys out. I love you guys. I appreciate it. I just have to do my take before because I can't get interrupted. Uh, it's, I'm not trying to defend Valve, I'm really, um, you guys know me, I'm really just trying to stand up for what I think is correct, and I don't understand why Valve should be paying them. Why is Valve's paying them? BTS are the ones hosting it, they're getting privilege, right? They're getting the privilege to host this without delay, they have sponsors, right? They have sponsors, where are their sponsors? I'm not really sure. Mate Mate and Mate Mate Giveaway, Beyond the Summit, they get to play ads on their stream, and especially... Uh, in, uh, why is Valve supposed to pay the casters? Uh, tournament organizers pay casters, guys. It's BTS's issue paying casters. Since when is it Valve's issue? Am I missing something? Like, it's not their fault. I mean, sure, I think people are taking out their battle pass greed shit on them. I just don't get it. It's, it's not even their job to pay them. It's not even their job. I would literally pay Valve. I would pay Valve so much money. Like, everything in my fucking bank account. I'll fucking clean it out to have exclusive rights. To the EU qualifiers, for instance. And they don't have to pay one, one cent to me. Because the, getting the rights to stream it is what makes you money. EU qualifiers are going to get fucking 50 to 100k viewers easily. Because there's Liquid OG Nigma there. Why are people whining? You know how much money BTS stand to make from just the EU qualifiers alone? They can fucking pay the casters 200 times over. I don't understand. I actually don't understand at all. They, they were, <laughs> they're privileged to get the opportunity to cast it. Anybody would want it. I don't understand. You know how much money sponsors give for a tournament like that? That's up in the millions of dollars, chat. Not even, I mean, total amount of sponsor revenue. It's insane. So why is it Valve's job to also pay the caster on top of giving them, um, giving them rights to the qualifier? Am I crazy? Like, what the fuck, dude? I'm not saying I'm, li I'm just illustrating a point that in most sports, broadcasting rights are paid for by the broadcasters to the company that holds it. Like, for instance, let's say UFC. 
They, I, I'm not really sure about the details, but just let's humor me here. The networks pay the organizers for the right to be able to broadcast their shit on their channel, right? They pay them a few million dollars. So, yo, we want to broadcast it on uh, uh, NBC, whatever, right? I don't care what fucking channel it is. So, BTS... Uh, but then they don't go to UFC and say, yo, pay our commentators. They don't. It's their job to pay the commentators. I don't even fucking know what the fuck this drama is about. Is everybody stupid? Am I, like, not a single comment that says, yo, maybe BTS should be the one paying them because they are making money from hosting the tournament? Am I crazy? I mean, hosting the qualifier? Am I crazy, guys? I don't understand. Is everybody actually dumb here? I understand. Fuck Valve, sure. I can say fuck Valve too, I don't care. Fuck Valve for being greedy all the time. They're a company, fuck Valve, whatever, right? But here, they're not wrong. They, it's not their job. <laughs> it's not even their job. Why are people shitting on them? I don't know, dude. Not even a, I'm not even a Valve defender. Like, they're a company, they're greedy, they make some wrong decisions, sure. But, what the fuck? Is this wine? Gaben <laughs> deposited them in my PayPal account. So, if anybody wants to wine more that they're not paying their casters, I'm happy. I'm happy to ha get the rights and pay my own casters, which I won't because I just cast myself. And um, I will uh, cast the EU qualifiers, no problem. 50k viewers, I play like 6 ads every fucking 5 minutes. And uh, whatever, dude. Do it ESL style. Get some fucking shady gambling sponsor. Retire with fucking 5 million in the bank. See ya. You know, like, I'm just saying, like, what the fuck? Dude? There's so much money to make for them. Why would, why is there Valve jobs to pay them? That's all. I don't want to talk about it at this point. I'm just exaggerating a lot, but you guys know what I mean. Like, I don't fucking know. What is this shit? What is this shit, dude? They probably will make so much of the U qualifier. It's fucking crazy. Any, <clears throat> any person that can disagree with a take that I've missed something? Because honestly, I feel like I might have missed something. Maybe it's like, oh, but, but, Mr. Sir, ESL, uh, B BTS aren't making money off getting the qualifier rights. Anybody? I mean, I'm not sure. Like, everybody's complaining, so I mean, there must be someone that wrote a Reddit comment here, right? <clears throat> any, I mean, if there's anybody, I, I don't mind you guys. If you, if you have something smart to say, I'm okay with it. Like, don't worry. Uh, bald back when speaking of, speaking of giving Gabe money, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm invited to TI. I'm just trying to do what's right. I mean, I'm just trying to say what's right, you know. Uh, all right, sorry, I'll get to my donos, guys. Sorry, I muted a bit. Uh, this might want to take a month to say something funny. Sorry, I was muted. Gork Oracle is bad. That's just false stretch mechanics. Also, taken Jesus of Chaos. Thanks, man. Palmas, Shark B, Hugo Aimless, Shamson, Top Gun, Puppy Muffy. Oh, I'm shouting yesterday. Subs out by accident. Oops. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Are this people people just jump on the bandwagon in any context? Yeah. Because I don't think this like I don't know what this is. What is this tweet? Let me guess. You consider yourself a child. I mean I, I don't know who Robin Roll is. Esports commentator, sure. Let me see here. Is there anybody in this red responding? Pasquals would be hundred dollars per game. That's money. Hope this isn't a dumb question, but why should Valve pay them when it's being run through BTS? We have, U UFA doesn't pay BBC ITV commentators for euros. BTS gets the benefits of streaming their channel. This guy has the correct take. The question is if BTS are monetizing or if they're getting paid by Valve. They're obviously monetizing. Uh, BTS are getting nothing. If if BTS are getting nothing, no, they're not because they're they have ads on their channel, right? They're they have uh, this shit. It's nothing wrong with that, but yeah. I don't get it. But the thing is, th this comment is never getting upvoted, right? Like, this is not even seen. Whatever. This this is Great four, take, Mr. Streamer, four hearts. You're always on point with anything relating to casters slash streamers. Thank you. But appreciate you're it. still not going to get that TI invite. <laughs> Sag. Sag. Uh, yeah, I'm just surprised. But the, uh, by the other, like, uh, dogpiling on Valve. When they, I don't care, we don't have to defend the company, but dude, can we not be wrong at when we criticize them? If you want to criticize anybody, criticize BTS, easy. BTS are the one taking the profits. I'm really up to, I really want to, uh, I would really want, love the opportunity to cast EU qualifiers. Hey, gimme gimme. 
Uh, fuck this drama, don't give him attention because we get bigger, those guys want the spotlight. I don't think it's anyone specifically that wants a spotlight here. I'm, I'm opposing 615 comments here that are all like saying fuck Valve because it's not the right place to say it. Say it here. The amount of empty levels before 33, level 33 is stupid. Yeah, it is. Fuck Valve. There you go. That's a, oh, that's a good fuck Valve right there. Fuck Valve. Sure. There you go. But don't fuck Valve here. It's not their job. General at it again. Here we go. What is this? Well played Roger, Dota, and V2 in a close one. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh no, no. Wait, let me see. This has Liquipedia. TI 10 qualifiers. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait a second. Regional qualifiers. Eastern Europe. Oh, oh no, no. Oh no, no, no. Navi, wait, where is the sound? Where is the sound? <laughs> where is the sound? Oh no. This is a <laughs> That's the sound I need. <laughs> oh no. Oh Navi, look at them. Ram the Rams' team getting eliminated from the qualifier after kicking general. Of course he tweets about it. Of course. <laughs> okay. I, fuck, I missed it. I thought they were gonna be in the final, at least, honestly. I thought they were gonna be in the final. Um, I mean, I feel for them, it sucks. I like most of their pl most of their players in their team. Uh, but damn. The CIS qualifiers are tough, dude. Anybody can win against anybody. They got 2-1 by motherfucking Empire. Damn. That is, that is pretty crazy. And now no TI for Ramses after he disbanded so many teams along the way and tried so hard. Not quite, not quite. Why did the nurse need a red not quite, Mr. Ramses. In not case quite. She needed to draw blood. So Roger plays for Empire or what? No, he played for Navi. He's played for Navi. V2 doesn't even have Navi on his profile. So who was on this team? What is Roger? I mean, it looks theoretically like a bit good team, right? Roger, Soneko, Ramses, no one, Vitoon. And I feel for him, I like Roger. Roger's a fucking bro, you know? Roger's a bro, but... Yeah, the way Ramses went about this season, let's just say... I, I kind of were rooting against them to qualify, you know? The way he joined the team, kicked everybody, got his own boys in to, to the qualifier slot. That's a bit of a yikes, you know? Bit of a yikes. Bit of a yikes. And you can't help but to kind of root against them, right? I'm not crazy here, I hope. But, yeah, that's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. Okay, let's go back to Reddit. Let's look at the comments. Am I the only one here? Uh, bonus. Rough translation. If I got caught by Vanskers being like Slark again, I'll never play Dota again. <laughs> Who said that? Vansker Dota. Ramza said, if I ever get caught like Vansker, <laughs> by Vansker's Bane like that, I'll never play Dota again. Oh, no, no Ramses. Ramses is the villain. He's trying to become the villain of Dota 2, you know? He's taking it for the team, you know, doing it for the content. The molding level Navi must be an all time hound of these two days. Losing games to techies against Hellraisers, knocked down to Hellraisers, where three of their ex members, oh, three of their ex members were playing, and they eliminated by Team Empire were 1 0 up. Tweet by General, bonus, and tweet by Iceberg. Iceberg, Iceberg also got kicked from Navi. Paj, is this Pajalosta? No, 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 Man, that's a fucking spicy meatball, dude. They all got so fucked by uh, Ramses. He doesn't even have a team now. He was in Navi, right? He got fucked out of the team. Looking for a team. Dude, this is rough, man. I, I feel. I honestly really despise the way Ramses did it this, this season. He kicked all these players and now he didn't qualify. They, they only deserve it, honestly. They only deserve it. Let's be real here. If you act like that, you fucking get deserve to get eliminated. Let's be real here. You deserve to get Zazazad out of the fucking wazoo, you know? That's all I gotta say. Zaza za on, boys. Zaza za on, brothers. <clears throat> is Ramses wasting his talent playing as an offlaner? Uh, kinda. I think he's a better carry player, probably. Uh, Atkor, he always, he and always on a, on a fly wanted to be uh, kick, but to be placed by Ramses friends, no one is an echo. Yeah, it's bullshit, dude. General as well. So he kicked three out of five players in that team. Fucking insane, honestly. Pretty insane. All right, let's see here. Iceberg two. Can you translate? Oh, what's translate? Bursting, ha ha ha, I mean funny joke, make you burst out laughing. Okay, let's see here. This current Navi team is the most unlikable team ever. The organization kicked three of the five founding members. The original Navi squad 
Play second at DPC Season 1, but for some reason it wasn't good enough. Which was weird, yeah? Enough that they kicked General first. After a disappointing Season 2, they kicked the team captain and always want to fly in mid-iceberg and replace him with Soneko and no one. I'm glad they didn't win the qualifier. Kinda how I feel as well, I mean. Za za za. Za 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 on, my brother. Any za za zaers in chat? And now it just sucks for these players like Iceberg and General. They just don't even have a chance to try to prove themselves for TI. Like that, Jesus, man. I feel for Vertuna, he's one of the best position 1 players. He is. I mean, honestly, v Tuna is a great position 1 player. Uh, Roger is a great 4, and uh, Soneko is a good 5 and all. But, yeah, you know. And no one is probably good too, but being good, you know, doesn't excuse you from being an asshole, no matter what anybody says, right? I'm not sure they are the assholes in this, but a little bit, maybe. My other rant was something I saw last night before I went to bed. Was this. This is why XQC stopped gambling on stream and train moved to Canada. So, I don't know how much you guys look at other parts of Twitch, but... Uh, apparently, train moved to Canada and XQC is thinking about it. Uh, let me see here, we can read that stream screenshot. Uh, and if you have up on a site, make sure you do your research. Most have shitty histories, so you don't want to do something coming back to you in a year. So make sure you do your research on a site. Can we do play one more day? Ask Eddie, gambling website owner, if he says yes. You make a new account and he has to ban your other one. And you play on full screen or block screen between games. You cannot show your own stake at all. That's why Canada needs to happen ASAP to let me know if Eddie or down and when. I'm gonna leave for Canada on Friday. Keep that on the low though. I don't want stalkers to fuck with me. Also, bro, let me want to let me know what you want to do, but it's a bugging about it. So basically, these streamers are just doing gambling streams, right? Pulling a slot machine shit, right? Um thing about it, it's actually probably illegal. That's why they're all fucking getting out of America to do it. Uh, Aiden Rosses and FaZe Banks, they're going to Mexico, right? To do it. And uh, Train went to Canada. He's getting... How much? He's getting like 30k viewers right now or some shit. He's doing great, you know? Making a lot of like 38k viewers. Uh, and uh, his, nah, his stream is popping off, you know? And he had to move to avoid the illegality of it. So, my, my take isn't gonna be... I'm gonna shit on them, right? Because it's easy to shit on gambling streamers. I, I just wanna... <clears throat> I just want to offer an, a perspective. Uh, I just want to offer a perspective that probably not a lot of people get, and why it's so fucking hard for these guys, you know? Uh, like, um, they're millionaires, sure, they're millionaires. They're all fucking millionaires. Uh, XQC, these guys, yeah. But it's it's hard, dude. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not, I don't make a lot of money streaming Dota compared to these guys. Not even a fucking tenth, even before the gambling stream, right? And I got offered some gambling streams too, right? To pull a fucking slot machine. I'll say this. It's really, really hard. I think I, it's almost borderline impossible to look at your peers and friends, right? It's looking impossible to look at people that you... That, that stream with similar viewer numbers to you. And like similar amount of success, so to say. And they go to a game like... They, they go and pull... They get the slot machine offers and do that for one month. So it was leaked that Aiden Ross, he's obviously a lot bigger than me, so I wouldn't get this kind of money. It was saying that Aiden Ross got $2 million a year. $2 million, no, sorry, not a year, a month. $2 million a month to spin the slot machine three days a week. Imagine getting that offer. And you know why it's hard, guys? Because you look, you look at your peers, right? You look at your friends, and you, I realize, like, they do this for one month, and they would make more than me streaming for years, and years and years, several years. And I'm sitting here like a fucking idiot, like... Uh, I'm sitting here like a fucking idiot, like saying, but I have morals. Dude, fuck morals. I'd have to stream Dota Solo Queue for fucking five years straight, dude. Or some shit, like a couple years straight. Like, even to be close. Like, imagine how tempting it is just saying, oh, I'll do it for a fucking month. I don't care about people getting addicted to gambling. I don't care that... Kids are getting addicted. It's so hard, dude. I'm telling you guys. That's why all these fucking streamers crack. Even XQC that was opposed to gambling, he does it because it's so it's a ridiculous amount of money. Ridiculous. It's borderline illegal, so they have to move around to do it, right? And it's ridiculous. Hey, I, I might crack one day. I'm telling you guys. I'm being real, you guys. I might crack one day and do it myself. I'm just trying to offer you guys how hard it is being like on the same level as people, right? And then one guy just does something. And he makes five times as I mean, hundred times as much as you. And you're like, what the fuck am I doing, dude? What the fuck am I doing, man? The thing is, I think like, as long as everything is transparent, I hope all of you guys know. Hey, Dota Community Doc, thanks for the five gifted subs, man. I love you, man. Thank you, bro. Thanks, man, Dota Doc, too. Um, 
I hope it's just transparent that these guys aren't gambling with their own money. This is maybe even fake money, most of it, because they're in cahoots with the owner. It's the same as the CSGO yeah, scandal back in the day. Money. Might be Mac, but might be real money, but is it really? Content less than three. If they're getting if they're getting two million a month and they're gambling away a few hundred k of it of like oh. Ethereum coins that the owner like put in their account, you know, like is it their money? I don't fucking know, Glad you know. You are holding up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm holding up for now. I'm just saying, like it's. No amount of donos, no amount of 100 billion gifted subs would ever make up for me streaming gambling a month. You know, that's crazy. And that's, I'm just trying to offer the perspective that this is like the devil, dude. It's fucking the devil's temptation. Uh, saying no to this shit is so hard, guys. It's so fucking hard. I'm not saying I'm going to say no forever. I might take some fucking money one day, you know, feeling bad. Like I fucking can't even buy a, an apartment after streaming for five years. I mean, sure, that's privilege by me, right? But meanwhile, I could stream gambling for a month and I could buy two apartments, you know? You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, so, I just wanted to offer, offer a little bit of a different perspective on it, because uh, most people are easy to jump on the train, like, just don't do it. You know how hard it is for these guys not to do it? It's so hard to say no to that kind of money. It's so fucking hard. When you see everybody else making so much money, it's so hard to do it, man. It's so hard to say no. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of opposed to it. I think it's not cool. Uh, there is a way you can do it where it, where it isn't so bad. Right? There is there is a way you can do it, but it's always gonna end up with people getting fucking addicted to gambling and shit. And they know that. They're not stupid. They pretend not to know. They know people get addicted. They know kids are watching. They know. They don't care, you know? It's just too much money. And that's okay. I understand. What can you do? Money is what spins around the world. Alright, Asmongold has a take. Twitch needs to ga ban gambling streams full stop. The amount of bullish pitfalls it's going to create in the new next six months will fuck in the website so many ways we don't even realize yet. Just look at EU gambling laws. Anyone could see this will not end well. Yeah, he's right. I think gambling streams should be banned off Twitch as well also. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Because gamblers will start going to like CSGO cases on CSGO websites instead and call it not gambling because it's not roulette wheels. And it's just going to, I don't know, it's going to be really hard to crack down on in general, I think. It's just, yeah, it's hard. I think poker is fine. Maybe it is, yeah. I think poker is not the same kind of stream as spinning a fucking roulette wheel, right? I mean, not a, I mean, a hey slot Gorge, machine. If you wanted to sell out for a month and be transparent about it, buy an apartment, then go back to Moral Dota streams. We would support it. I appreciate Your chat that. already harasses you for playing Dota, so you might as well. <laughs> Maybe, you know. in Sweden? It's not, it's always gonna be cracked. Uh, I don't know if it is actually. This is all gonna crack down very soon, I believe. Like soon, this the reason all these streamers are getting their bag is because they know all of this is gonna be banned and illegal in like a few months. So they're trying to make their couple million dollars as fast as they can. Same thing with uh, the ASMR section about showing their booty shorts because they make a couple million dollars and then they don't. They, they know they're gonna get banned, but it's just worth it, and they'll come back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine if everybody's doing it. Uh, but it's fucked up. I, I think it's... I, I just wanted to say, like... I wanted to share, for me, it's been really hard saying no, at least. So I understand why a lot of these guys are going out of their way to say fucking yes, because it's a lot of fucking money, dude. It's really hard to say no to. And it's fun gambling, honestly. It's fun. But you are... You are, um... You are willingly... And these guys are all very smart people. But they are willingly showing this to kids as something fun, just to get them addicted to. It's kind of fucked up, obviously. No, only thanks to nine months. They're willingly doing that, of course. And they're getting paid millions of dollars a month, without exaggeration. Which is just years of streaming, so it's just worth it. XCC is very smart, of course he is. He was even opposed to gambling, but like I said, the devil got him in a way. Like, the devil on his back with, uh, with the amount of profit he could make got his back. I understand him. I, uh, I've been just close to cracking as well, you know? I've been close to cracking as well. I'll say that. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Alright. Chat. Just went TI. Yeah, they don't have to care about this. The degree never stops, though. The degree never stops. I think I'm done ranting. I'm done ranting for today, guys. Sorry. Woke up in a ranting kind of mood. Sorry about that. Let's have